I am shocked. Truly, I am. Like, I'm being genuine here when I say this. Sony actually reversed its decision to close down the PS3 store and the Vita store. Not the PSP store, unfortunately, but I can kind of understand why they want to shut it down. I really hope uh, all of the PSP games that people actually want to play are either physical or they are games that uh, will come to the PS5 or the Vita or are on the Vita. Hopefully we're not losing too much. I can kind of understand, though, because the PSP was, you know, it was successful, but it kind of withered out and not many people cared about it, As uh, unfortunately. I hear there's a lot of great RPGs on the machine, so I'm probably going to buy one before the servers shut down. Uh, still, though, I just wanted to make it a small update to inform people they did actually listen to me and only me because I am the center of the universe. I'm really happy that they decided to listen. I still have stuff to complain about for sure, but in spite of this, I uh, am very happy that they listened and I'm I'm probably still going to make another Sony rant, but it's it's going to be a lot nicer to the company because they are clearly willing to listen and I am willing to like tell them hey I have issues with this and this and this and if people agree with me and people more popular than me speak up about it uh, they might go into it I'm not sure if they're investigating the C-bomb stuff which I actually just made a rant about but now I have to make a new one because that rant was really harsh and it's outdated so, uh, <laughs> I honestly did not expect it, because Sony, like, I, I know this is kind of rude to say, but sometimes I feel like Sony can be one of the more egotistical companies. They have this egotistical mindset where they think that they are above everybody. And look, I get in some ways they are, but at the same time, like, there are so many times where I feel like Sony thinks, oh, this will be the greatest thing ever, and then sometimes it just flat out doesn't work. Like, the PS3 with 6 axis and fucking <laughs> the PS3 in general, like, at, it, at its start. At the start. I love it now. At the start, though, it was pretty bad. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's one of those things where I feel like Sony just suffers from a massive... Ego, ego trip at times, and uh, they just don't listen to their fans as much as they should. But it seems that they want to listen, and you know what? I, I'm going to give them credit where credit is due. I'm happy that Sony is reversing their decisions, and I'm happy they are taking some feedback. Hopefully, if we keep pressing them in a nice way, mind you, so no death threats, please. <laughs> I, I know I haven't seen any yet, but I'm sure they're there, and please don't do that. <laughs> but, you know, and, and, and keep in mind, when we do stuff like this, it's not to, like, it's not because we're ungrateful. It's not because we hate Sony. It's because we want to see them be a better company. We want to have them listen to us because if they listen to us and improve, we win. If they are a better company, maybe others will follow suit. Maybe others will know okay, we shouldn't do this, they tried this, it didn't work, they reversed their decisions, we shouldn't do this either, we should make sure we don't do this, or at the very least, if we're going to, we should maybe plan out ahead of time what we're doing, it's just, this kind of stuff I think is good for uh, stuff, like, I, I, I love it when people come together, say no to a company, and a company actually listens. They did it with Supersonic and Sega. Granted, that shouldn't have been a thing in the first place. And I'm not saying we should be grateful that they changed their shitty decision. But we should be grateful that they're willing to listen to people. And that is actually quite humble of for a company. I know a company's not a real person. But still, the fact that they're listening is a good thing. Uh, but at the same time... There are some things we still need to press them on. The C-bomb issue is probably the biggest one. They need to support more backwards compatibility. They need to have some sort of way to, like, support PS2, PS1, and PS3 games. You know, for now, this is a win. Uh, I just wanted to make an update. I'm probably going to list my ranting time as outdated. I'm still going to keep it up, just because I... I mean, I put work into it. I might as well just keep it up. I didn't put that much work into it, but still put work into it. But yeah... I uh, just wanted to make a quick update, 
clarifying changes in the, the situation. This was a lot longer than I wanted it to be. I initially wanted this to be like two or three minutes, but it, it ended up being like double that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end it here. Bye.